So by now you know what are collection and why do we need collections. So you know what are collections. Collections are nothing but a group of elements. Now if you want to traverse each of these elements, what do you do? You have learned about the concepts like while loop, for loop, do while loop and all. Why? In order to iterate through each of the elements in the data, right? And as you know, Java is much more about object oriented. So it also allows you to store the data in an object way. That is, it allows you to store the data dynamically. In order to traverse the elements that you store dynamically or in an object way, you use the concept of iterator. You have certain other concepts also for each loop, iterator, comparator and so on. So let us see how an iterator acts as a traversing element of your object. So it says that to visit the elements of a container one by one, iterator allows you to traverse through the elements one by one. That is, it allows you to traverse the elements only in the forward direction and not in the backward direction. And once you use this iterator to traverse through the elements, it also allows you to add or delete or remove a particular element at a particular point of time. So there are certain methods which are allowed or which are available to work with these iterator interface. The first one it says that has next method. This method will return true if there is an element after one element. We say that we are trying to traverse a object with five elements. It has five elements A, B, C, D and E. Now when it reaches E, when the traverse element it reaches E, it checks after E do we have any other element or not. Has next method is used on E element to check if there is an element after E or not. If it is there, it will return true. If not, it will return false. And if you want to then perform certain action, if there is an element after E, that is after has next, then display that element. And how do you display that element? With the help of next method. And if you want to remove a particular element, then you use a remove met method. So with the help of example, let us understand we have imported a package called java.util package then you have created a class in this class we have used the concept of generate why we have used the concept of generate generate is mainly used to say that we are trying to store the data or we are trying to retrieve the data but we don't know what kind of a data are we using right so we are using one type of a collection the interface which is nothing but array list remember a collection interface encapsulates number of other interfaces those are set queue and list and out of list there are certain implementation of this list interface which is nothing but array list and linked list so we are using array list this array list of collection interface is trying to hold the integer value that is we are defining the generic value so let us execute this program in practical to understand how do you use an iterator to iterate each and every element and then if there is an element please print the element so this is how you use an iterator class to iterate or to traverse through each and every element in this example we are trying to use the iterator interface in order to know how you can traverse each and every element of a collection Normally you know that if you have to iterate a number then you use a for loop, while loop or do while loop, right? And if you have a certain number like a fixed number of object like an array then you can again traverse through for loop or any of the loops. But if you have an object which has been created dynamical, uh, dynamically that is if you have created an object at runtime and added the values to this object at runtime how would you traverse each and every element in a particular order and display those values it is possible through one of the concept called iterator so the iterator here allows you to traverse the elements in forward direction and not backward so we have created a class of iterator demo but in order to use this concept of collection you need to first import a package called util package or you can write java.util.collections class we have used all 
that is nothing but the wildcard of your util package. So we have created a class called iterator demo and in that class we have created a method which is your main method where the main execution of your program starts. In that we have used array list. Now you have number of interfaces in collection that is you have list, you have set, you have queue, dq and so on. But what we have done here is that we have picked one of the concept that is we have used one of the implementation of list interface that is array list and how do you define an array list here and how are you using the generic method here normally in generic method it allows you to provide the type of value at runtime right so we have created here an array list and this syntax would be you write the array list which is a keyword and then in the angular brackets you write what type of value you want to traverse. So we are saying we want to traverse value which is of your integer type and then you give a name to your this array list object and then equals to new array list that is you are creating your new kind of an array list. How you instantiate your class similarly you create an object reference for your list reference type and this list reference has one of the implementation called array list so you write array list in the angular brackets you write what kind of a value will it receive then your object reference name equals to new and then the constructor name and how you end the constructor with your parameters and this is empty parameters now the elements that you would want to transfer okay fine you have created one list that is now you have a container ready but in order to traverse the elements of container in order to display the elements of container you have to fill that container and how do you fill that container by adding the values to that container here in our case the container is array list and where you would want to add value to this array list and what is the array list name al so you write the array list name dot add is a method and what value do you want because we have integer value we have provided value as 10 20 30 40 50 you can provide any value that you would want to if you think it is not integer and char you can provide char string double any value that you would want to but now if you want to iterate this value what do you use then we need to use iterator what does this iterator does iterator method over this array list allows you to traverse the elements one by one and then print values one by one through its few methods it has few methods where has next method is used to identify if you have an element after this 10 value or not yes after 20 or not yes it goes till 50 now this has next method over 50 will find out whether it has any element after 50 that is no therefore it will return false right and if it has any value please print that value and how do you print that value by calling a method called next over this iterator so now we are trying to iterate the values of array list that is you need to write the array list dot call the iterator method over it now when you're calling the iterator method over this array list you need to store these value in a box right when you are emptying a container you have to go store the value of this container in another right so you are emptying a containers object and storing these objects into another container therefore from array list first i will remove 10 value and then store it in an iterator and this iterator container should also be of integer type to hold the value of integer type therefore now this iterator will hold each of these value which are stored in array list in the next now you have an iterator now you have a container which has all the values in it the next purpose is to traverse through this iterator interface and then print the value and how do you do that by using one of the loop we have used a while loop and in this while loop we say if this iterator that is i has next again repeating has next is a method to return a value true or false whether 
if there is an element in this place or not. Therefore, it will go and check. Yes, there is a place that is there. Yes, there is an element called 10. Therefore, it will come and execute the next statement, which is nothing but I dot next. That is you are calling the next method over your iterator. That is over your interface saying that please print the value. Next method is used to print the value. Similarly, these steps would be repeated or iterated until unless the boolean value become false and the boolean value will become false after this 50. So let us save and execute this program and as you can see in the console now the values through iterator has been displayed that is iterator was used over the array list to traverse through each and every element of array list and then display the value.